Hello everyone and we thank you for watching the 31st Mount's Weather Weekly Weather News. Today is Wednesday, January 4th, year 2012. And as always, first for you today, your Channel 3 Early Warning 7-Day Forecast. Tomorrow, Thursday, January 7th, partly sunny, breezy, and a little more comfortable. High 37 inland, 40 to shore. So as I'm sure you all know, this morning, bitter cold temperatures, single digits in a lot of towns this morning. Friday, sunshine mixing with high clouds, mild for January, high 44 inland, 45 at the shore. So uh, as we get into Friday, as we get into the latter part of the week, temperatures are going to start to become a little bit more mild than what they normally are for this time of the year. So we're going from really bitter cold temperatures to what's considered mild for the month of January. Saturday, partly sunny, breezy, and mild again, high 45 inland, 47 at the shore. Sunday, partly sunny and cool, high 40 inland, 42 at the shore, so cooling down a little bit for Sunday. Monday, mostly sunny, breezy, a little colder, high 35 inland, and 40 at the shore, so cooling down a little bit. So it's going to warm up a little bit, be a little bit mild this weekend, but then it's going to start to cool it back down again. Tuesday, partly sunny and pleasant, high 41 inland, 43 at the shore. And on Wednesday, January 11th, high 45 inland, 46 at the shore. So it's going to warm up a little bit, cool back down, and then it's going to warm up a little bit again um, towards the middle part of next week. So a lot of temperature fluctuation throughout the next couple days, throughout the next few days. Okay, and now your fascinating info and tips for your life segment. We have some pretty interesting ones today. We have some that pertain to weather and some that pertain to 2012, the year 2012 specifically. Okay, fact number one today, the weather vane. What is billed as the largest wor the world's largest weather vane sits on the shores of White Lake in Montauk, Michigan. It's 48 feet tall with a 26 foot wide arrow and adorned with a 14 foot replica of a 19th century Great Lakes sh schooner. Okay, so that's the world's largest weather vane there in Michigan. Fact number two today about bowling. The Tokyo World Lanes Bowling Center is the largest bowling establishment in the world. It has 252 lanes in one very tired pin setter. Fact number three today about the British government. In Britain's House of Commons, the government and opposition sides of the house are separated by two red lines. The distance between the two lines is two sores lengths, a reminder of just how seriously the Brits used to take their politics. Fact number four today about paper clips. The diameter of a wire of the wire in a standard paper clip is one millimeter or about a fourth of an inch. Okay, and fact number five today. Leap year. 2012 is a leap year. And this is some interesting, this is, um, explains why we have leap years. People generally say there are 365 days in a year. By a year, I mean this is the time period it takes the Earth to travel around the Sun, 365 days. However, though, it takes the Earth 365.25 days to make this trip. In other words, for every year we gain one-fourth of a day and every four years we gain an extra day, hence the adding on of the extra day in February. If nothing was done about this, our calendar would move backwards one full day every four years in relation to our seasons. So if we didn't add that extra day on February every four years, our seasons would be shift, would shift a little bit each and every year. Okay, and now leap years. Uh, in the 21st century so far, we have only had three leap years. This year will be the fourth leap year. Leap years this century so far are year 2000, 2004, 2008, and this year 2012. And February 29th, 2012, the leap year day this year, is a Wednesday, so we will be talking all about leap years uh, then as well. We'll get a little bit more in depth, in depth about it then. Okay, and as always, all of today's interesting facts can be found at www.angelfire.com slash useless facts. Any questions or comments, you can always email me at matsweather1 at aol.com. And if you haven't already, be sure to follow us on Twitter, twitter.com slash matsweatherct, twitter.com slash matsweatherct. 
is how you can get to our Twitter page and you can follow us. Uh, if you want to learn more information about our Twitter page, you can watch the 30th Matt's Weather Weekly Weather News from last week where I outline a little bit more about that. Uh, otherwise, follow us. And that'll do it for the 31st Matt's Weather Weekly Weather News. We hope you join us next Wednesday for the 32nd Matt's Weather Weekly Weather News. See you then.